This is a 13 going on 30 inspired thriller dance. Ah, sweet. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Yep, so far looks familiar. Oh, I did not remember the dance until I was working with Mark Ruffalo on the Adam project and we were we had to do the dance for something. And so we had to watch it and remember it. Let me see. Then we walk this way. And then we went, boo. All I know is Judy Greer and I were living that day. We were living. And Mark Ruffalo was in hell. He wanted to quit the movie when we had our first rehearsal. He hated it so much. He so badly didn't want to do it and was fully, what am I doing with my life? That's what learning the thriller dance did for him. And Judy and I were just like, yes, finally bring it. I'm scared to look and yet here I go. This is the slugging trend. What was the slug? This put like a petroleum jelly on your skin for sleeping overnight. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna try. The last time I saw a full thing of this, I was changing a diaper. And that's where you need a barrier. This isn't looking for a barrier, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a Neutrogena spokesperson and a loving mother. But if my kids came to me and I saw them doing this, I would say this is for your bottom or for your private spaces. This isn't for your lovely faces. Next one. This is heatless curls. Like pink sponge rollers? Oh, come on. This doesn't work this well. I mean, who wouldn't want to try that? Who wouldn't want whatever she's having? When I was growing up, I slept in pink sponge rollers every other night and had, but through high school, no joke. That is as far as I've ever gotten with doing my own hair, but it totally worked and you get used to it. And when I was really little, I slept in with my hair tied up in rags because that's how my mom had slept on the farm. And she would just roll her hair in a rag and tie it in a knot and do, 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 tie it in a knot. That was just not very comfortable, but we did it. Now, okay, I want to try, I kind of want to try this. So you put this over your head and then you wrap your hair around it and then you wake up and you look like this beautiful young lady. I mean, <laughs> seems worth a shot. <laughs> I don't really have high, <laughs> I hope so, but it seems really worth a shot. But if you want to get serious, you just need strips of fabric or pink sponge roller. Then that will work. I can tell you that from experience. This is the anti-wrinkle straw. Oh my gosh, I bet drinking out of a straw is, wow. I just had a mind blown moment. First of all, you're adorable. And I, I hope you never see a wrinkle in your life, except I hope you do because I want you to live a nice long life and that's part of life. Second of all, you're still pursing your face. So it's not really gonna solve the problem and you look silly. It doesn't seem to me like it works. I think let's leave the anti-wrinkle straw. Next trend, millennials when they hear the poof is coming back. She's excited. Bump it, volume hairstyle, insert tool to a behind. Wow, that's a big poof. Oh, she's delighted. Oh, yeah. This is me in a poof. I have two poofs. I'm with Cindy Crawford, pregnant with a poof. I mean, and then there I am another time. It looks like pregnant or just post-pregnancy with another poof. When I poofed, these were not these were not part of my poof. I probably won't try this, I'm gonna be honest, but it, I look forward to seeing all of you do it. This is the corset top trend. Styling a corset as diff aesthetics. Grunt Y2K, minimalist. There's nothing minimalist happening there. She's adorable in every single one of these ideas. It's just, why would you wear this? It looks so uncomfortable. Corsets are not comfortable, don't you wanna feel good on what you're wearing. I mean, if you're gonna wear that all day, how about a bra? Just a bra on the top, a sweater. I know from what I speak of, I was not comfortable ever once in any of those, but they do look good. To fill that cup 
I had three different jellies and every bit of my boob was pushed up to the top except for the you know what, which was barely tucked in. But there were three different jellies, a big, a medium, and a small to get the right shape. Can I just say that the best corset you will ever wear is Versace. Those people know how to put structure in a dress. You're not going anywhere. This is the rainbow contour hack. Oh my gosh, is she gonna make this work? I don't know what I'm seeing. Don't be shy, blend it in. No joke, you have to blend it in. Am I into contouring? No, I'm not into contouring. Maybe I should be and maybe I should try this, but it looks like this cutie pie got into her mom's makeup. This is the plank challenge. Five, six, seven, eight. Down, down, up, up, jumping jack, jumping jack, shoulder tap, oop, high five, oop, jump over the girl. I've never jumped over anyone in a plank. That looks fun, I would do that. I would do this with anyone who would like to do it with me. Let's plank challenge, bring it. This is 13 going on 30 inspired hair. Can you do a tutorial on 13 going on 30 Jenna Rinks party hair? Wow, people are on purpose doing 13 going on 30 hair. Well, that looks as good as anything. I haven't actually seen 13 going on 30 since it came out. Is that crazy? I think I have such a specific memory of making the movie that I'm afraid, I don't know why, I'm almost afraid to watch it. There were definitely butterfly clips and there were definitely porcupine quills and the rest was history. This is the sea moss trend. All right. What's she doing? Oh, I won't do that. Cleared my body of mucus. You need mucus. Help me, but boosted my. Oh. <laughs> Nope, no thank you. What is sea moss? Why is she slugging it down? This is sea moss. Made with real fruit. Simply enjoy by itself. It looks like snot. <laughs> Does it taste just like a, like my go and pineapple? Sea moss gel. Try it. 